Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator. We are, uh, we have this beauty over here, um, but there's quite a bit wrong with it. There's tapping sounds from the engine bay, the timing needs replacing, there's poor brake performance, it's loud when accelerating, which is not necessarily a bad thing with this thing, and find and fix all gearbox problems, so <laughs> there's quite a bit wrong with it. Now, um, for the most part, I think we don't really need to test it any further. We'll just put it on... Actually, wait a second. Uh, there's already some of the stuff I can take down from here. Look at this thing. This honking V8. Alright, let's uh, take off the idle roller. Or idler roller. The pump assembly thingy. There's a water pump that we'll need replacing. And the tensioner. And there's probably uh, the timing belt is shot, so, yeah. Uh, let's take off the steering pump. Crankshaft pulley. All of these will need to come off. Look at how many idl idler rollers it has. Jeez. Alright, all these will come off and then we'll check out the timing. Unfortunately, I think I have to take off the, uh, yeah, these things as well. The covers. Uh, right. So let's take out the ignition coils and we'll see if they're the problem as well. Also, the uh, exhaust, you can see the gearbox itself will need replacing, I believe. It's pretty bad. <clears throat> so let's see. These things are... Yeah, that camshaft is bad. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Wait. Oh yeah, I have to take off the timing belt. What? Oh, I have to take off that. There's a lot of things we need to take off first. Let's also see if any of the ignition coils are in bad condition. No, they seem to be mostly in 90%-ish. Yeah, that's pretty good. Of course, you know, in this game it might be 90, 90, 92, 94, and then suddenly 5%. Let's see the timing. Out. No, these are okay. Right, the timing cover can come off. Oops. There. Now let's see how good this stuff is. Yeah, these timing belts are horrible. They all need replacing the crankshaft. Uh, well, actually, the crankshaft is in very good condition, 90%. Alright, so let's take the cam gear off and this thing. How are the cam gears? They look pretty good. Yeah, they're good. Alright. Alright, that looks pretty good. Um, also the brakes, as you can see. Man, they've been thrashing this thing around, haven't they? Alright. Yeah, there we go. Brakes, uh, exhaust, and gearbox problems. Probably the, uh, some of the clutch stuff as well. Yeah, the, the actual gearbox. Okay, so we've already found everything. Let's put it on a lifter. And, uh, wow. You know what? I know it can't get damaged, but I'm just wondering... Yeah, it doesn't get high enough, but that's... That's fairly close. <laughs> All right, let's take the wheels off. Modern. Vroom. All right, the brakes. Yeah, that's pretty bad. The caliper. Uh, the other stuff looks good. It's actually almost new. Uh, and I, I once again forgot to take the starter motor off and the manifold. Um, I don't think I actually have to take the starter motor off on a V8 because it's usually attached to the actual gearbox from the back, so that's alright. Uh, this ventilated disc needs replacing. I think. Yeah, 27%. Let's see the gearbox. I'll need to take the starter off. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And it's a uh, rear wheel drive only. Okay. Come on. Sometimes I do hate the camera. The mufflers need to come off. The back is pretty good. Come on. I want... Ugh. Ugh. No, why do you go there? I want to... There. Damn. Many, many parts need replacing. Oh yeah, I wanted to do the gearbox. And I'm struggling with it to find it. Big honking uh, drive shaft. There. Oh yeah, I was talking about the gearbox. <laughs> Right, so there we go. This gearbox needs replacing. So quite um, an expensive repair this will be. This is 800-ish, I think. 8%, wow. Look at the clutch inside as well. It's pretty horrible. Yeah, they've been thrashing this car about. 
I mean, it sort of is for thrashing, but, well, you can still be a little bit careful. Right, so I'll need to take that off. Let's take all the wheels off first, so we get all of the parts that we need to actually replace. All right, the, the calipers and the brake pads are okay, but the uh, disc is not. There we go. All the other stuff looks good. I think the rubber bushings are all right as well. So I guess it's a fairly new-ish car they bought, but, well, they gave it to their uh, kids to drive on the weekends or maybe even at other times, and they've just thrashed it about like crazy. All right. Let's see. We have... Oh. Oh, yeah, of course, that's the uh, manifold. We've found everything otherwise. Let's just take the manifold off. And then we shall take pictures once again. There it is. Off you go. Those are some tiny screws. There we go. All right. That is good. Right, let's um, take pictures. That's that one. That's that one. That's that one. It's funny, my phone actually recognizes that something changes and it's uh, refocusing, even though... There. It doesn't need to, but... Oh well. Right, let's go and buy uh, all the replacement stuff. So what do we have? We have brake calipers. And discs. A ventilated disc. And some pads. And we have the catalytic converter, two of them. The manifold, exhaust one. No, sorry, front, oh. No, it is, exhaust manifold V8, this one. Yes, and front exhaust pipe V8. And two middle mufflers. Middle muff... Two middle mufflers. Then we need a clutch plate. And release bearing, and... I already had one release bearing, oh well. And a V8 gearbox, that's gonna be expensive. <laughs> Look at that, V8 4x4. 1500. Not too bad. Was that it? There we go, yeah, that was not it, weird. Belt tensioner. And we have the timing belt. Uh, the V8. Two of them, of course. And the water pump. Uh, V8. And the water pump pulley. And then also the belt tensioner. The camshaft. A V8 one. And a power steering pump. And I believe that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'll have to get rid of all those uh, pictures now. <laughs> I have quite a few. Alright, assembly mode. There's the lovely new camshaft. And the gears. And all that good stuff. We can already cover this thing. There you go. Excellent. Let's put the covers back on. Or the heads. No, it's the head cover, isn't it? All the ignition coils are okay. Let's also put the cover back on. Yeah, that looks quite nice. I'm happy. Now we should just take this for a spin again. <laughs> It's not going to make any difference, unfortunately, but oh well. Okay, and that there. Now all of these idle idler rollers need to come back on. And the pump as well. Come on. There you go. There's so many of them. <laughs> it's so crazy. The water pump pulley, which powers the water pump. And finally, the camshaft pulley. And now we can put... Oh. Oh yeah, the power steering pump as well. And now we can put the belts on. 
There we go. Lovely. Look at these bells. They're crazy. It's like snakes. And also the tensioner. Oh, I already had one. Oh, well. Right, so that's it. Look at this thing. It's quite the beast, isn't it? Uh, where's the manifold? The manifold? Let's put that back on. And then we can lift the car and put everything else back on. From underneath. Go. Okay. Right, let's put the brakes and stuff back on. Brake caliper, new ones, of course. Yeah, I really wonder if when you buy a car to, you know, to be auctioned off later, if you can just put everything new in it. Do you actually make a profit? Probably, I'm guessing. I'm guessing there's no really sort of failure condition. The more new stuff you put in, the, uh, the more profits you have. And of course, when you collect um, used items from cars you repair, if you have a high enough skill to repair the stuff, I guess you uh, make even more money that way. Oh, wait, wait a second. Have I not... What? Have I not bought a clutch plate? Apparently I haven't. Huh. Okay. I could have sworn I have. I bought a pressure plate. Oh, uh, well, okay. Doesn't matter that much. We'll use it for another car. Oh, man. I want to be over there. Well, let's put the middle mufflers in. Come on, that way. That way. That way. There you go. Clutch plate. Nice and shiny new one. And it can have a 91% because I'm not going to give them a completely new one if they haven't asked for it. There. Lovely. And the new gearbox. Look at that thing. That is huge. <laughs> All right, and the drive shaft, of course. Eh, come on. Oh, so annoying trying to get it. Come on. There it is. It's quite annoying, but oh well. Can't even hear the screws. Or the bolts, really. Uh, right, that's it. Now the rest of the brakes, of course. Shall we give him a 21%? <laughs> I don't think they would be very happy with that. Boom. Boom. Discs, of course. It's actually weird. Um, excuse me. It's weird that, um, you know, this type of car doesn't have ventilated discs at the back as well. Because I think they usually do, especially, you know, big honking supercars like this one. don't really know why I'm using the phrase big honking all the time. That's it. Seven thousand and a half. Oh, the starter is missing, of course. It's kind of like, here's your car, sir. Uh, it doesn't start. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. We've forgotten the starter motor. There we go. Man, that was quite a bit of money. I'm happy with that. Of course, we've already uh, also uh, used quite a bit of money. Look at this one. Let's take the Royal Crown. It's a Mustard yellow. Ugh. Well, it's actually not that bad of a color, I guess. Right, so what did they say? Lack of engine power? It's probably filters and oil and such. Well, there's the oil. Filters, yep. Timing, brake performance, and loud exhaust. Okay, don't really need to uh, take anything. I mean, don't need to test it. Ooh, both the ABS module and the pump will need replacing. That's quite expensive. There, sir. The fuel filter. Hello. The manifold, again, will need replacing the throttle as well, apparently. The turbocharger is in good nick. There comes the uh, manifold. Lovely. Lovely. All right. Uh, there's a water pump, which we'll need replacing the timing they said as well, right? Let's take off the tensioner. It's very relaxing, this game, isn't it? It's like... The filter in there, look at it. It's completely horrible and black. They said the timing-related stuff needs to be replaced, right? I think so. It's not like it's uh, a lot of work to take this off and check it. 
Yeah, this needs to go off. Alright, what about the rest of the stuff? That's alright. Okay. Let's take all the clips off. I wonder if the clips are ever something you need to replace. <laughs> Look at that air filter, man. <sighs> Horrible. What about the battery? And the funny thing is, if you just take it out, you don't even need the, uh, the voltmeter. Right. Lack of engine power. There's still stuff might be... Let's do a compression test. Uh, poor brake performance and loud exhaust. Okay, so we've got all of that. Let's do a compression test. See if there's something wrong with the cylinders themselves. If there's a lack of power. Hmm. Mm, no, not really. 68 is their limit, so that's all right. Hmm. Could be... Well, actually, no, it's not a lack of power. It would be weird noises if it was the stuff on the bottom. What about the ignition coils, actually? And the uh, spark plugs, they're usually the culprit. Well, the... They look good. Spark plugs. What was the limit again? 68%. Yeah, the spark plugs look okay. Hmm. Let's take this off and check the camshafts. That wouldn't really constitute a lack of power, though, would it? That camshaft is okay. They're okay. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to check the bottom, of course, but uh, that is interesting. Well, before I put anything on, let's um, let's lift it up. Oh, yeah, the starter motor. Actually, the crankshaft is okay. I mean, not the crankshaft, the gearbox. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll need to figure this out. Let's put it on a lifter. Lift! Lift, lift, lift. <clears throat> there we go. I can already see the, uh, the brakes over there. Pretty horrible. Now let's take that off. And that off. And let's go back to the engine for a moment. Uh, we'll need to change the oil anyway, because that's what they've requested. So let's bring the oil drain. And there we go. Like so. Ugh. Well, at least it's not black like it was on the one of the uh, previous cars. That was quite horrible. There we go. So let's see. No, these things look good. No, they're fine. So this is not the culprit of um, no power. Hmm. Interesting. So if it's not this, and it's not the camshafts, it's not the timing uh, shafts, what else could it be then? Lack of engine power, throttle, ignition coil fuel, wait a second, um, hmm, let's take the oil drain away, let's do the other stuff first, let's uh, get rid of the, oops, let's get rid of the uh, wheels, and replace the brakes. Calipers are good, the pads don't seem to be good. Nope, pads will need replacing, and the disc as well. Check the other side. With, with this music going on, I feel like I should be working on a 1945-era car. <laughs> yeah, these pads and discs need uh, replacing as well. What about at the back? That exhaust needs to go, of course. Come on, what? I clicked on the bloody exhaust and it goes all the way over here. Ooh, the fuel pump might be the problem as well, actually. The f yep, the fuel pump is pretty bad. There it is. 9%. Alright, so that's good. But there's still one more piece somewhere that we need to find out for the lack of engine power. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Uh, all that looks good. Pretty good. And over here, uh, let's take it off anyway. Let's check the uh, check the pads. No, I think the pads look good. Yeah, this stuff is okay. All right, 
Let's put it back together then. Stuff is completely fine. There we go. All right. So, what are we missing here? Hmm, one more part. Well, you know what? We're gonna find it next time. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.